meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. And we take you out to Conneaut Lake, Channel Lock Camera. Is it Christmas? Is it Thanksgiving? A little jump start on the season there. I think that's Conneaut Village on the east side of the lake. And of course, that, that lake will be just exploding with Christmas trees over the next few days. Uh, we got a winter weather special, 7 o'clock on Wednesday. And also at 7 o'clock on our sister station, Fox, on Thursday, we'll tackle a winter forecast. Tom DeBecchio will look back at the performance of the Farmer's Almanac. Craig Flint on staying safe in the ice. Great stuff coming up later in the week. Bobby Santos doing the thing in the snow belt, just removing feet of snow. What a difference a day make. His wife, Laura, says this is today's picture. Sure, there's still a lot of snow, but the temperatures got all above freezing, which is a good thing. And on radar, nothing happening right now. Not much of anything expected. And look at those temperatures 12 hours ago getting above freezing. I think our official high was 43. We'll be near or above that the next few days and then drop with some precipitation uh, on Black Friday. So actually, yes, 43 with that low of 20 normals or 48 and 35. So still way below normal, but there you go. Generally milder temperatures and dry weather through Thanksgiving with the rain on Black Friday. So right now, still low to mid 40s from Joe in Northeast to the crew at the Bayfront to uh, have their monthly meeting tonight, Polish Falcons Club. They're back in business with great speakers around 7 o'clock this evening. But you can see the temps drop back towards freezing in Cory and Union City, Lake Pleasant and Venango. And uh, Crawford County looking like this, Rick and Crossingville, 38 degrees, Rose and Espyville the same, Joyce and North Meadville at 37, and staying above freezing except for Ludlow out east, Kathy and Youngsville at 38, Don, or excuse me, Bob and Kitty and Cooperstown at 37. So the winds will be slowly diminishing, but we've had those gusty winds last night and today, and they're producing wind chill factors at freezing or below in most of our area now. But again, they will be diminishing. This cold front does not have a lot of punch to it, so maybe a sprinkle or flurry late tonight. What does have a lot of punch is this warming trend. You see this bubble of warmer high temperatures? So you can go like 46, 51, 54, Chicago, Omaha, as well as Denver to get an idea what's happening over the next few days. So that front comes through, as we said, mainly dry. The winds pick up out of the south tomorrow. Clouds break for sunshine. And after that, look what happens Wednesday into Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, and eventually Friday. It's probably not until Thursday night late uh, that we get some clouds and chances for precipitation. So if you got holiday travel, especially to the west and south, you're good, smooth sailing. If you got holiday travel out to the uh, east or west, you've got good weather as well, and that's Tuesday through Thanksgiving Day. For tonight, just a chance of a few late flurries along the lakeshore, lows 27 to 32. If you're south of 90, you're looking at a slight chance of flurries or freezing drizzle, mainly dry, 20 to 26. And uh, in the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, few flurries, mainly dry, as we said, 19 to 26. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, low to mid 40s. After that, gets even warmer. Wednesday, mid to upper 40s. Thanksgiving Day, low 50s. Some showers on Friday. Maybe a break on Saturday until later in the day. Some more precip Sunday ending early Monday. But temperatures staying uh, above freezing for highs right through that period. And that's kind it's of a, a heat wave for us. That's a good thing. Yeah, it sure is. All right. All right thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom.